lights. It was so fucking funny because I thought Jack had said, I can watch one more. And what mm -hmm. he had said was, I can watch more. <laughs> and so when the episode ended, I was like, all right, man. I turned off the TV and I was like, all right, man, I'll see you. And he goes, gonna go play Baldur's Gate. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I see how it is. And I was like, what? I mean, you're like, you're the one that was leaving. And he's like, no, I was gonna watch more. And I thought, I was like, oh, I fucking thought you said one more. And he goes, oh, I thought you were just making a joke. Because I was like, I'm surprised you're leaving so soon. Is what I said. <laughs> and he, he laughed. And I was like, I, what are you? It wasn't a joke. What are you laughing at? He's like, what do you mean it's not a joke? You're, you're like kicking me out. I was like, no. Is that from failing to pull him through? No. <laughs> it's from a dark urge option. <laughs> oh, you cut it off? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Good god. The... The dialogue option was fantasize about cutting the hand off. <laughs> if you do it, then it like goes through like a imaginary thing and then you wake, you come to and you realize that you've done it. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I don't think I could ever play that class <laughs> for the origin. Yeah. Uh, apparently it gets real messed up. But I'm like, I'm playing a mix of just like dark and good, so it's it's been interesting. So I know we got into that fight. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of dialogue oops, around like talking to the the like origin characters, the companions about how, like, you're conflicted because of these dark feelings and stuff. So I feel like there's a lot of roleplay stuff that goes into it, but I definitely agree it would not be good for, like, a multiplayer game. So I was right. Yeah. Unless you're playing with, like, just you the intention of, the like, going the full evil in a co-op game, which... That could be fun, I suppose. That might be worth it, though. But... Mm. What was that? Oh. It sounded big and open. It sounded like it came from this doorway. I was gonna say, it sounded like it comes from up. Like, up. Like, through there, yeah. We got XP when he went through the door. Uh-oh. Wait, what? Have we not been in here? Mm -mm. Oh, we haven't done the thing. Okay. No, we haven't. I wonder if that maybe disabled the traps, but I'm not going to risk it. Hmm. I didn't succeed. Yikes. <laughs> Well, I think it was right about there, yeah. Um. <laughs> okay, so. I think that button turns it off. Yeah, let me, you, you have to trigger it first, though, to turn it off. I spy a trap. Okay. So actually, I think I can just get there. Did you enable the turn-based mode? No. Oh, interesting. Careful. There are traps about. Uh oh. Okay, the grease was not expected. Um. I'm going in to try and save you. Nasty surprise. Caution is on. 
Okay. Should be off. You don't you don't need the watcher's guide, right? That's the spear, right? Yeah. Didn't didn't plan on using a spear. Well, I don't have anything to eat. So Fancy. Aside from the super good ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take that great axe. Let's have a peek inside. In case I end up actually going um Pact of the sword or whatever. Pact of the blade. Yeah, I wish we had proficiency with the weapon if you're fine to it. I wish we had a uh, had the a different. I wish we had had a different you know thing to eat yeah, besides the sword. Sword carrying scribes. Yeah. So subversive. About I mean, it's not like we have a two-handed fighter at the moment. And we're probably going to go with something more like a sword and board, right? Maybe. Depends you on who plays. You were about needing a tank, right? I mean, I think we could use a frontline fighter. I don't know necessarily a tank. A book a <laughs> this book is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Yeah, what did I get for my... Things. Did I get, uh... Ooh, that 20. Where do I look at, like, what I've leveled up? What? Has like, you have leveled up, or where do you look at? No, 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 like, uh, yeah, where do I look at Magic that? pulses from the parchment. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I don't actually know how what to was once check, like, is now an obliterated scroll. what I picked for my invocation. These are names, a list. But of what? Gods. These are the names of gods, once lost but now restored after the second sundering. The last like, I see that I got books sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as uh. to be unreadable. Entire Repelling blasts have dwindled and been reborn, but I don't remember what I got from it. recorded by this book. Oh, okay. Agonize. If you go to the party view and then you can look at the character sheet. That's so actually, you you do have proficiency with glaives just as a human. Hey, there's heavy armor in here. I think we should hang on to if we run a heavy armor wear. Cause that's not bad. That's like the worst heavy armor, though. Yeah, but it's expensive. Kind I'm of. weak. Yeah, I'm gonna have Shadowheart pick it up. <laughs> oh, actually, I will take that great sword. Cause I'd rather have a great sword than a. A great axe. The question is, who's running the extra what's? Yeah. Like I'm, I'm happy with whatever. So. I'll, uh, I'll look. See what we get. Found a soul coin, which is cool. Yeah, I found uh, one or two of those as well. They can power what? infernal engines, which means it might be worth it to hang on to. Yeah. Do I? How much gold do I have? Can you spot me two gold. Why do you need gold? Uh, learn a spell. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, I just need to figure out how. Okay, split two. 
send to Gale. I'm going to learn um, Burning Hands. It's a good one. I thought so. Oh. Also, I'm inspired and so Shadowheart. I'm eligible to get the Twitch camp clothing set. Yeah, I have that. I think for streaming the game. You probably have it for watching. Oh, I have to, like, link my account, though. I think I already had mine, because I have the clothes. I was wearing them on a uh, Asterion. Because, um, I like how flashy they look. That's been looted, that's been looted. I'm trying to make sure we looted all the skeletons. Okay, so those are now linked. I, I realized that I had that thing, I like the drop when I was opening up your stream. Oh. This must be the god they worshipped here. I was just like, oh yeah, he didn't say anything about streaming, but I'm, it'd be weird if he just didn't suddenly. The inscription is in a language <laughs> yeah. unknown to you. Have you taken the weapons from all these guys? I believe so. That's Jurgle, scribe of the dead. Jurgle. Right I'm gonna hit the button, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Those weren't there. There are a couple extra that spawn in. I don't know that they actually spawn in or if it's just the cutscene being weird. Oh, hells. Something just woke up. It genuinely weirds me out how short range Ice Knife is in this. Skeletons don't like thunder. Right? No. I mean, you can right click and examine. Uh, they don't like bludgeoning. Oh, I see. Chromatic Orb only does bonus damage, or it does 3d8 as long as you are using Thunder. Oh, okay, so that's like the benefit for not doing a surface. Mm -hmm. In that case... I'm just waiting for the silences. <laughs> nah, he's got a knife. Doesn't Time really matter for tribes, though. Oh. Warriors are what matter. Oh, he slow moved across the ice, though. Yeah. What I wanted. See if I can. That's so satisfying. <laughs> All right. I'm sad that Radiant doesn't do more to them. Yeah, a little, little odd. Actually, gonna move back here. I just to be fair, follow. in like even the fifth edition monster manual is kind of random which undead are. Vulnerable to Radiant, and which ones aren't? I don't think that changes what I said, but it makes it more understandable for this game. Yeah. 
We're rolling in it, you know? Yeah. I got slowed. That's the only reason I didn't just run up and hit them with my bludgeoning weapon. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah, that, the silence is kind of scary for our whole team. <laughs> She's not doing so great. Excuse me? No. What the fuck? <laughs> Hellish rebuke. <laughs> Fine. Man. Dead. I'm in such an annoying spot. Okay. You know what? Here. <laughs> Silenced. Hmm. Yeah, I made that a little more awkward. It's okay though, because I picked this up a while ago. <laughs> oh no, I took an action <laughs> to equip it. My bad. This is embarrassing. Oh wait, can I like cancel the end of the turn? Yes. Okay, because if she can... No, she can't get to him. Oh, wait, he's not even the one that... Which one's concentrating on the silence? The one furthest away. Oh, the one way over there. Okay. <laughs> well. It's okay, dude. I fucking whiffed... Um, chromatic Sphere. Oh. Like it missed. Yep. Him. Good. Oh. That's fine. You're shitting my whole ass right now. Oh, that sucks. Oh, okay. <laughs> they silenced the one I didn't care about the silence on. <laughs> or her melee attacks oh, are actually more no. effective than her spells at this point. No, it's fine. He's <laughs> yeah. That seemed unnecessary. I'm trying to get him away from me. Yeah, that's fair. And also, I needed to use my last spell slot since I'm going to Arcane Recovery after this. Ah. Please help me. What? Oh, you didn't kill him? No. That's awkward. I thought you did. Hmm. No, and I didn't knock him back either. It's fine. He's unarmed. You can do like one damage. Just hurt. Dude, what are these people? <laughs> are you gonna be able to hit him? <laughs> Finally! That's like the first hit any of us have done in like Uh oh. That's not good. <laughs> I didn't realize how low she was or what I healed her. Die. Asshole. Fuck. 
I'm working my way to her, Chris. Okay. You do anything? I don't think so. Can't even hit him with an arrow? Oh, okay, I can hit him from this angle. <laughs> Up for debate. It's nice that they um, make it to where you can't bleed out after combat. <laughs> yeah, it would be really fast. Right. It used to be that way in the early access. So I'd always have to, like, go into turn-based mode to save them. I... I... I see. Hmm? I click it, and it tells me... what I can restore. I could restore one spell. Ah. So I have one spell. Me too. Shadow Art has all her spells, but didn't heal her because I didn't realize she was well. Good short rest. Uh, yeah, I mean, short rest would be good. Gets me my second spell back, too. Here lies the Guardian of Tombs. Through no Here lies the Guardian of Tombs. Through no here lies the guardian of two. Here lies. Are we? Are we in the dialogue? I am. I can't see it. You not? Talk with me. Oh, there we like, go. If I if I do character select and I select Shadowheart, then I'm in the conversation. <laughs> huh? I was just stuck in like a you're in a dialogue screen. So I could click private dialogue, but so I had no has buttons, spoken, and, and so I wasn't actually looking at the dialogue. Right, as it was, I think it was because I opened a chest, clicked the instant what a curious in the conversation. Way to awaken. <laughs> now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Wow. What? The Dark Urge has, like, I think three more options. <laughs> I am not the same as those thou hast slain, if that is what thou askest. Wilt thou answer my question? Oh, it could be also... So, um, I ask again, what is the worth because of a single mortal that drown. life? So they might have more. Oh wait, never mind. You have more options in the screen. Yeah, this is the, this is the one I was talking about. I think they, she had like one or two more. I am curious by what standards thou shalt judge. Very well. The first option was like, I mortals exist to be slaughtered or something like that. <laughs> we have met, oh. and I know thy face. We will see each other again at the proper time. There was another one that was like, Farewell. because of these dark urges and stuff, I, my life is not worth anything. <laughs> it is one of the options. I, I, I didn't get to open the chest that I was open. I didn't open it. Oh wait, no, I didn't open it because I was opening it. <laughs> Shadowheart couldn't open it because my other character was opening it. <laughs> but now I have the uh, amulet of lost voice. Cool. Oh yeah, isn't that the speak with the dead? Um, yeah. Still comforting after all this time. 
heading outside through the hatch. Okay. Ah, that's what Clever does. <laughs> Not doing so hot on spell slots for that goblin encounter. <clears throat> Such is the life of a level Fair, two but wizard. That encounter is kind of super easy because of all the backup we have. I mean, it is now. It used to be everyone in that encounter died. <laughs> Shadowheart rolled a critical failure on his arrival check. We could also pick up Lazelle. Oh, yeah. We could actually have the dialogue. I don't remember where it was. Was it up here? It was. Uh, That's right here. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to do it? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I think I have... I just want to make sure of my stuff. Yeah, I, I, I'm proficient in intimidation. I'm not bad at persuasion. I think I'm also proficient in persuasion. Yellow is a toad, and twice as the thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. I, I don't remember if I if swapped escapes, my persuasion to. How will you? Uh, oh, deception. I, I don't think I did. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Oh, interesting. I don't have an Intimidate option. Yeah, I don't remember there being an Intimidate before. I guess it was a Dark Urge, then. <laughs> uh, character select. Party view. Character sheet. Skills. <laughs> Persuasion it is. <laughs> and of course the guidance. Wow, I didn't really need that. <laughs> yeah. Thinking you did it. He's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Danaze? Enough. Oh, we, it does mean we're going to probably Ready have to obeyed. fight them. Some lethal like this. Yeah. You've but one chance. Join me or die. Well. No! Uh. lying rat! <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought I was just going to shoot them. <laughs> A little help, please. Wow. <laughs> She's low. Okay, um. So. What's that under? Passives? Yeah. Now, does that affect my spells or just my attack? Oh. Must be unarmed or using a melee weapon. Okay. So I'm thinking I'm going to shoot them with an Eldritch Blast first to get them weaker. Don't Did do that. One to four. Give advantage on the next attack against them. Wow. I think they also have disadvantage because of the off balance. <laughs> Shit. 
controlling there Liza. There is the issue that, um, yeah, <laughs> she's AI control right now. Cool. Rut roll. Hmm. Hmm. They go first? That's annoying. Should we just kill them at this point? Uh, probably. And I'll go ahead and take that. What? What do you mean can't reach this? Yikes. <laughs> How? Oh, well, they, um, hmm. They didn't pick their weapon up, but they have a melee weapon. Bro. <laughs> oh, I probably should have turned off the repelling blast. No, because they don't have a ranged weapon right now. <laughs> yeah, but they're running away. I think they were just trying to get out of rain. Like, they were surrounded. Oh, and they're not going to run away now. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. Turning off repelling blast. <laughs> the tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer I just like wait, the idea that Shadow Arts just lying on the ground this during this. <laughs> I must find a crash. You will join me. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. <laughs> you have made an ally from Kresh Kalir. Few know such things. Hey, Shadowheart, creature. you can't disprove your unconscious. <laughs> Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Oh, enough waiting. I crave blood. You taking Lizo? For now. Okay. Going to untoggle uh, non-lethal damage. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. Color me curious. Oh my uh. Goblin fight. Yeah. We should hmm, short rest again. Yeah. And here I go. I'm thinking I'm gonna use a cure wounds for her. That makes sense. Take you. Long resting is scary. <laughs> so I yeah. have to eat. I hear shouting up ahead. Music to get Yankee ears. Open the bloody gate! 
Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! A pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! <laughs> The nine hells! Open the gates! And where are you gonna be to, you know, spin? Wow, you actually seeded at that? <laughs> yeah. What was your chance? 40. That's not as bad as I expected. I speak, they burn. Oh. Hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> that does complicate things. Yeah. What? Hmm. I'm sad. I'll bleed every last one of you. This is bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. That helps. Hmm. Oh, cool. He is almost dead, though. Yeah. I'm killing the one right here. Okay. No, I'm not. Okay. There goes the action, sir. <laughs> Early game wizard. Taking position. 
death is but a word away. Stop my step. Sure pushed him out of the grease towards that archer. Yeah, but it gets him away from Barth. It's uh, much lower. And in much more danger. Barth. <laughs> and this fight was a lot easier when, like, no one was missing. Yeah, I don't know what Zevlor's doing. <laughs> Not prone anymore, which means it's harder to hit him. Okay, never mind, he's good. What a scream. On the move. Oh. <laughs> I'm just up here sniping. <laughs> I'm fucking losing my mind. <laughs> I thought that. Hmm. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought it said 24, but it didn't really matter, did it? Lowly creatures. They must have been seeking something or someone. I I can't help think we contributed to <laughs> May it please Miss I don't get my bees please <laughs> soon. I may just get a tad. Wee's a bit strong there. <laughs> <laughs> could have blown up the grease too but I chose not I'm gonna be honest it might have been better <laughs> certainly Aradin didn't make it pity but he might have got more of my people killed if not for you thank you for your help out there we also I'm didn't get an inspiration point for Lysol for that, I think. Which, if you kill them without losing anyone, you do. Oh. Because she's got the soldier background. Well so you I get it for, like, you. no one left Visitors behind. are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though. I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. We've no time to offer aid to every whimpering pup. 
We'd owe you a great debt. If we are forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. I will be right back. Real quick. Okay.
Oh, level? Yeah, did some conversations. You might want to hit J and go to dialogue and see if there's a conversation between Will and Aradin. Shit, I'm it's leveling real quick. It's interesting. <laughs> hey, that's the dead guy outside. I uh, used the amulet to talk to him. I see. So, Chris, mm. I'm thinking, uh, Shatter. Pretty good. And maybe Knock. Could also get Cloud of Daggers. I got spiritual weapon for uh what's her face? Shadow Art. Could also do Flaming Sphere. Oh, wait, just... what? Oh! Huh? I can just keep doing Speak with the Dead. Yeah. I, I thought it was a single-use thing with the amulet. I'm gonna go talk to the other guy that died. Actually, the... The guy what do you think? That died. Flaming sphere or cloud of daggers? Huh? They're both pretty useful. I don't know. Cloud of daggers just sounds cooler. Mm -hmm. Wow, those are conjuration spells? I guess that makes sense. Yeah. I did think about uh, Phantasmal Force, but that's rough. Mm hmm. I'm thinking Cloud of Daggers. Uh, and since I'm doing Cloud of Daggers, I want to get a second level utility spell.
because learning evocation is easier for me. Mm-hmm. I know silence is pretty good. Do I have an option for silence? I don't know. I didn't see it. I see blindness. Yeah. Oh. Barth has nothing to say. I'm guessing I probably won't find a scroll of find familiar. That's probably accurate. Oh, so, dang. Hmm? Zakrug's corpse is too badly damaged. I see. I might just get find familiar so I can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'll get clouded daggers and find familiar. Okay. For now. Whoa. Go ahead and just do it. Yeah. I climbed the ice mountains and stabbed a yeti with an ice. What? It's a story I'm telling to the children. I see. <laughs> I've bested a red dragon in battle and crafted a club from its tooth. Familiar seems by far the worst. Um, I think the distraction can actually be pretty useful. But would they not just kill it? No, you can use it to like uh, distract people. Like I know out I've seen combat? it used for yeah, like out of combat stuff. Like, distracting guards that were patrolling and stuff. Yes. Crab I'm not seems... saying it's, like, the best, but it's just... It has its uses. Crab seems... Actually really high damage. It's two to five piercing, and if it lands its pinch, it'll then do two piercing at the start of each of their turns. Oh. Hey, I inspired Lizelle by teaching someone how to actually be a, a soldier. <laughs> I might just go with Raven for the blind, though. 
uh, familiars can interact with stuff, right? Or no? I believe that's the case. Um, I know Mage Hand can. They actually like put a lot of effort into figuring out how to make Mage Hand interacting with stuff work. Oh, Zoru. Didn't Lazel want to talk to him? Yeah. She's leveling at the moment. Okay. I have a raven named Quoth. I read your conversation, by the way. Yeah. Where is Zoru? Don't be grumpy, Roland. We'll get to the city soon. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face Harry before I swing. You're an idiot. Chris? Uh, somewhere near me. Unhelped. Get into me. If we left, we could at least make a run for it. Oh, what I do for some salt? What? Heck. This kid trying to steal from me. Until I found Roland him. Shows off his thunder wave. Okay. Depends. How many people? Five more dice eyes. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Come to rip me open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? You dare interrupt. Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Kichoki. 
Oh, I leveled up. Fuck. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I what guess I was like me? really slow to leveling up. What? On the road to Baldur's Gate, n near the mountain pass, S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly, straight to the other side. Man, I just, I just ran. The map, show me. God, Lysel's such an asshole. <laughs> no hard feelings. The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. Kenyak. Your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am not grumpy. Scowl on your face, which frightens you. You're an idiot. And step, swing. Step, parry, step and swing. Yes! Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the thank good there isn't a bit of colour in those ch and Yettle will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Oh, nothing as fancy as but I come from a long line of women with a Aha! You take a sup of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. Oh, tis just a heel. You just look like you might need a pick-me-up. I'm sorry to go on about it. But are you all right? You're looking awful peaky. Oh, stop. Even not, I'm tempted to smack. Not that they'd listen to little old me. Hey, bother. Finally sell all these random fucking bows I'm holding. <laughs> I'd die if I met the roa can reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. That's tempting. The, like, oh, monk staff, it gives you plus two bonus to saving throws if you're not wearing armor. No. Uh. I'm not. I can wear light armor. This guy's um, yes, the apprentice Laroican. of Loroican, the greatest who's mentioned by the dead guy. Gate. When did your hat change? I've admired Loroican for years. <laughs> Never dreamed he'd When I found one that had a feather. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or I think talent. this is a conversation the names for me. Roland and Loroican will be known <laughs> far and wide. You'll see. 
Yeah, talk to him. We should have left by now. Damnish! Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging. And what about us? There's every chance we've doomed Seems like a very by different conversation. We will end up fodder for some goblin's blade, all because Lee I did, insists like, on helping every wound convince him to stay and fight. Our best for these chance people. to make it to Baldur's Gate and he is on our own. Was quite upset about this it. This place is lost. And then eventually, I was like, "Why are you so eager to go to the city?" You That's are funny. looking. Talked about it. Yes, that Laroican. Oh, there we the go. Greatest wizard, wizard I've heard Baldur's he's quite Gate. the scoundrel. Common gossip. <laughs> The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I can Few throw can your raven. <laughs> in terms of raw power and talent. Until I'm not going to. But it might kill it. To come, you <laughs> it probably would. It has one health. I can assure you. <laughs> May we meet again in Baldur's Gate, my friend. Not a conversation for me, somehow. Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe. Surely there's someone for me to talk to. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Hey, you know what I just remembered? What's up? The bugbear assassin. Oh, yeah. Calm yourself. They're survivors, not soldiers. I fail to see the distinction. She's still alive. She's still alive. Okay. I'll be up there shortly. Action, not reaction. Efficient path. With ease. One hell. <laughs> well, there goes my level two spell. Yeah, I uh, I cast mine before that shadow. <laughs> See, he would he'd been standing in it for almost a full turn. Interesting. I wonder if it just didn't load in because I wasn't here. So, uh, Cloud of Daggers is much smaller than I thought. I did. 
and I went through my cloud of daggers. Oh. Uh. Somehow. Not enough move. Yep. What is she doing? I don't know. <laughs> he died to getting his eyes pecked. At the ready. Let's go. You have good timing. Never been much of a fighter, so wrestling a bugbear would have gone poorly. But you're not here for heroics, are you? Avernus's stench is all over your skin. Let me guess. Your devil mistress sent you to get her soul coin back. Too bad. I earned it, fair and square. <laughs> Quite the title. Means absolutely nothing to me. Care to explain why you reek of the hells? Hmm. Wow. Overkill. Well, that's quite the story. And I thought I was doomed. Now I feel sorry for you. Here, take this. It's worth a fortune. But a fortune's not worth much if you're dead. Consider it payment for saving my life. A soul coin, true to its name, holds a mortal soul inside. It serves in the Nine Hells as very valuable currency. All right. Anything interesting on the assassin? Some poison. <laughs> Jumping through my cloud hurts so bad. No. Oh. He has nothing to say. <laughs> Imagine that'll really only work for like named characters. So far, that seems to be the case. Although even Barth didn't have anything to say. <laughs> Although, actually, I wonder if you were disguised as something else, if certain things would actually talk to you. What's up? You failed an Arcana check? I did with a DC-10. No. Oh. Yeah, and not using my inspiration. on it didn't uh, tell me anything. We need to be able to talk to animals to get anywhere with that. Oh yeah, I found this concealed hatch, but I can't get in. Can you send your raven in? It's locked. I can't. Okay. Because I know there's like a couldn't hole. even interact with it. Oh, okay. I know there's like the hole down there. Uh, only small creatures can get in. I want to go to camp real quick. Okay. Not to long rest, but just to go to the camp. Mainly to put fucking Lysel and Shadowheart away. By all means. Chatter already, Tusky. Well, made by the same evil, that makes can sense. Without me. <laughs> As you say, do not keep me waiting. Okay. Good night. I have the uh, dialogue option with people to uh, tell them about the bomb in my chest. Oh. 
We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. Be assured, it is not by choice. Amending, should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, indeed. Not this one, nor this one. Writing the balance. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath very well. Choose. I'm picking a hireling. I see. It is a hundred gold, by the way. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> what am I wanting to do? That's a reference. That's a wacky. I don't what? know if that's specifically a reference to that book series, but if it is, it's cool. There's a book series, Septimus Heap, that I like. Yeah. Where it's like the closer to the seventh born child you are, the stronger you are in magic. Mm hmm. And the main character is the seventh son of a seventh son. Yeah, it's a very common theme. I wasn't sure. I'd only hit it there. No, it doesn't let me hire a hireling while you're looking at them. Is there something in specific you're wanting to do? I mean, you had a solid thought about the paladin. Do you want the paladin? I guess. It's... Like, one of us could take it and have, like, the healer tank. Um, and then the other could just do something else. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we, we definitely need a rogue. Why are you so strong on needing a rogue? Because this is D&D. <laughs> yeah, but it's 5e, not 3.5. Other classes can make up for it now. Somewhat. Yeah. Who even is the
I could take the Paladin for now then, I guess. I'd rather play that than a Rogue. Okay. Personally. Although, let me let me look at what the Rogue subclasses are. That'll help. Mm-hmm. Baldur's Gate 3 Rogue subclasses. And I guess I'll also look at Paladin. Thief, Arcane Trickster, Assassin. If I played a rogue, I would probably do Thief. Would you do... What would you do? Wait, what? With the... It's a Thief, Arcane Trickster, and Assassin are the choices. Yeah. I mean, probably Thief or Assassin. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing I was thinking. That is a thing. The paladin subclasses are um, ancient devotion and vengeance alongside Oathbreaker. Mm hmm. Which would you rather do? I, I will take, I think, the leftover. What sounds most interesting? I really can't decide, and I don't want to sit here forever when we're probably going to find other companions to replace him with later. I, I have a thought. What up, man? What if I go with a bard instead of a rogue? And just, like, can you can you modify them at all? Or? Uh, from what Anthony was saying, yeah. Okay. Because you can make bards really good rogue substitutes and then we'd have some extra supplemental healing since paladin is kind of like not the greatest there's a uh, lore valor and swords hey, I, I know the subclasses for bard is lore the more healy one? Or the more roguey one? Or sword's the more rogue one? Well, lore is the more skilly one, so it'd probably be the more rogue-like. Let's see. I think they also get um, extra like utility spells, too. Yeah, yeah beginning... At least in, like, base 5e, when they get the College of Lore, they get three skills of their choice, proficiency. Cutting words also is really good. It's the reaction bardic inspiration that you can just be like, nah, you uh, take minus 1d4. <laughs> And then level six, they get two spells of their choice from any class. That's probably the one that would be. So basically, we can do. If we did that. Yeah, I guess Bard Paladin would make up a really good rest of our team. Yeah. Because that would give us the tank, the skill monkey, and essentially a single healer in those two combined. 
Which would you rather do, the bard, I'm guessing? I would rather play the bard, yeah. Okay, I will take the uh, paladin. Then. Okay. These things have stayed interesting. They, so it looks like they have a start like set of things and then you can kind of go from there okay oh i need to dismiss shadowheart <laughs> i guess i need to go talk to her yeah tell her to wait in camp Although it might serve to make the bard a melee fighter as well. That's kind of rough. Um. Otherwise, we'd all be sitting back. No, I mean, I'm I'm planning on doing a bit of hybrid with my warlock. Oh, with Will? Yeah, because I went back to the blade. Oh, okay. So, like, I've got really good uh, Eldritch Blast range stuff. But then I'm playing on, like, when I get the options to, specking more into the melee, too. So I can do defense or protection. Um, defense is the plus one AC. Protection is the... Impose disadvantage like, if they hit someone else. But you have to be really close, isn't it? Yeah, issue? that's the thing. I think defense seems better. I could also do great yeah. weapon fighting. Are we planning on giving him a shield, though? It could be good, but having that non-magic damage is also decent. He'll be taking naturally from just the armor itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's up to you. You'll be playing him. It's not like a massive deal. Yeah. I'll do defense just because uh, great weapon fighting is good, but he does have like stuff like smite and etc. to help supplement. Mm hmm. Oh, I can give them secret animals. Nice. <laughs> and get rid of heroism. And... Your wounds. Hmm. Wrathful smite or searing smite? I don't know the difference. Wrathful is plus 1d6 psychic and possibly frightens. Searing deals an additional 1d6 fire, it sets them on fire, so they take 1d6 or 1d6 fire damage every turn. Honestly, I feel like the Frighten and psychic damage is more useful. Mostly Two. because we are we have a lot of elemental stuff. And 
the frighten effect is really good. I I also am leaving him with thunderous smite, which is two d six thunder pushes them three meters away and knocks it prone. Yeah, that'll yeah. probably get way more use than wrathful. Mm hmm. He's got compelled duel, which is better in this game, I believe. Um, because they can't attack anything else but me. As opposed to they have disadvantage. Mm hmm. And then. Command? Or divine favor? I don't know what divine favor is. Returns your weapon attacks deal an additional 1 to 4 radiant damage, but it's a bonus action. And that's not concentration, or it is? It is. Okay. I'll do command, because he's already got two smites. Mm hmm. And Wrathful Smite is concentration, and Compelled to is concentration. I believe with command, if you command them to flee, you do get opportunity attacks, too. So. Oh. Your desire. A little discourse. This vessel is at thy disposal. Do what thou wilt. This soul remembers its invective, but remembers not its tongue. Though spoken with a different voice, you recognize the eloquent drawl of Withers, the wraith that summoned the hireling. They are but echoes. They recall not a manner of speech. Thus, I lent them my rhetoric. I'm gonna get the heat metal second level spell. To speak thusly takes little of my effort. Besides, they what better use is there of time than discourse? They get combat inspiration, which is kind of decent, but because you need to College of Swords is fun. Because it but is I think Correct. College of Lore will be a lot more useful Fitting. for what we're doing. I agree. I'd be cool with you doing either. These souls clawed their way back from Whoa. the fugue plane for vengeance. The art of violence. Oh, they get proficiency in Arcana, sure. Intimidation, and Sleight of Hand. Now, let us return. That's that's to the fray. like you don't get to pick, but those are good ones to get. So. Yeah. It has sleight of hand in it, so it's worth it. <laughs> and I'm going to replace Tasha's hideous laughter. Do you have Featherfall? I do not. Okay, I'll, I'll pick that up then. Have you ever talked to one of the hirelings? No. It's odd. I wonder if it's possible to respect the hireling. <laughs> hey, are you just decked in the Red Prince's shit? Yes. And um, the dwarf dude. Add. Must be satisfied. How the fuck? <laughs> it's in your chest. Oh, I see. What is the advent bewildering adventures pack? Oh. Has weird shit in it. Kind of don't want to. Uh... Oh, you can just fully respect the, the hirelings too. <laughs> you can for yep. free or what? Uh, 
that I don't know. Um, it said the hundred thing, but it's letting me be in the menu. So I'm not sure. Immediately. What is it, Mr. Dakarios? More or less the same, though news of some mad faction calling themselves absolutists is starting to trickle in. I told your mother not to worry, that if they were anything to worry about, Baldur's Gate would handle things quick shot keep them from spreading their tendrils north. She still wants to know when she'll see you again, sir. I avoid giving any answers, but she misses you. I know that, but she doesn't. She'd keel over if she knew just how you'd try to manipulate the weave. Or maybe she'd just say something like, my Gale always was one to make the impossible possible. Oh, but she adores you. Anyhow, I'm keeping my senses pricked for any sign of another item that might be of use to you. Hopefully something will turn up soon. You focus on that parasite. I dare say turning into a mind flayer may set that bomb off as quick as anything. No time to waste. Well, if it isn't my favorite fellow here. I do need to redo her levels. <laughs> Did it cost you to do it? Um. Let me check my. Uh, it looks like it because I don't have gold now. I see. Hi. It, it took what I had left. Which was 75. Um, should I give them expertise in perception or investigation? Uh, perception. Okay. Let my daughter go right I also gave it in slight of She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Let me through, Mradrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! Damn it! We could have taken those gods! Scared of you! My pleasure. Come, Magrin, give him a chance. There we go. You get back. Now she is like perfectly spec to be roguey. No, and you'll find trouble all the same unless you get out of my sight. A moment, Giona. What? 
Oh. I understand. You! Apparently, Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursheim friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. By Sylvanas, the old oak, all death begets life. Oh, Featherfall's a ritual. Interesting. Same with Speak of Animal. Oh. I am uh, not in the camp, by the way. Okay. This vessel is at thy... This soul remembers its invective, but remembers not its tongue. Though spoken with a different voice, you recognize the eloquent drawl of withers, the way... Yeah, Ethan, it's, um, it's a vibe. Yes, yes, I see. Now you see what I mean when I say it's a really odd conversation. <laughs> yep. I do wish I could understand you. Can I talk to your bird, your cat bird? I don't know. Can okay. You? <laughs> it was just like, um, meow. <laughs> <laughs> I dismissed the um, the raven because it makes that annoying flapping sound I hate. <laughs> gotcha. Constantly. It's fine if it's like only when you're close, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, except it's always close to you. Where are you? Oh, yeah. did you talk your way in? Yeah, it's not hard. If you you just go, can I go through? And then they go, yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to wait to talk to Volo here. Ah, my good friend. You were at the gates just now, no? When the goblins came, you saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then. How would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Uh, size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. My, a scholar after my own heart. Spent much time among goblins? Uh -huh. I've always preferred experience to the second-hand accounts of lesser men, but to each their Gil own... looks mad about that. No, I have a few more questions, if you don't mind. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? <laughs> Witnesses failed to notice the 
obvious. Drag on. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Shakes a lot. <laughs> they did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. Ooh. Never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? Huh? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. Would that we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse. Let us confer. You speak with animals? I said that I got it. You should come talk to this bear who's in distress. Oh, I will in a second. <laughs> I'm listening to the bear trying to talk to Volo. Just oh. a moment. This man is recording my story. I am far from home. As the colorful man starts scribbling, the bear sneaks a quick look at... What? Oh, okay. I guess it Let's take a gander. wasn't any more than that. He did master. He left with the weaponed two legs. He said he'd be back. But I can smell them, the weaponed ones, and I cannot smell him. He's not coming back. No, the woods have gone dark. There's too many predators lately, even for master. Okay. The way it, like, moved when I talked to it made it look like it was hurt. Unlock the elevator. Oh, cool. I, wish I, could understand you. I was trying to steal a fish from that bear down below. Did you just that? No. Brethren, more follow Korga every day. I convinced the bird to give up its material solution. possessions because a song is worth more. And we will be safe. <laughs> I see. So I got the shiny outsider. key. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. He left with the adventurers. 
They went treasure hunting in an old temple near here. Master Halsin did not chase treasure. I do not know what he was chasing, but he never returned. I see, she gave us some hints about the missing druid. Oh. I think we go in here? Hold on, I'm talking to Tusk. So awkward, I already went in. <laughs> oh, nothing happened. <laughs> The boar prances around, haunches clenching and unclenching impatiently. Where's Alcin? Promise me a mate! Okay. Oh. So back to the stone door there? The stone door, yeah. We will tolerate outlanders no longer. Hmm. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here. Until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. This is the best I've got. Who? <laughs> Very well. She may go. Break your word, and my serpent shall feed. Sif, sif, Tila to me! <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin will- Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. So this is- this person is just a dick. <laughs> yeah? You you should go talk to her. You're the charisma guy. Oh, the you're talking. Forest rose with claw and tooth to tear the darkness from. The mural depicts druid and beast fighting together. This to is uh, much more complicated than I expected. It looks like they were victorious. Yeah, what? And yet the monsters have returned. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Yeah. Yes, you would say so. I know your kind. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Zevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do the more singular attack speak. option every this time. This ends but one way. <laughs> With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. Hello? <laughs> uh, 
All righty. <sighs> Uh, another stranger come stupid or a liar. Neither is needed here. Go. Okay. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Well seen. Well spotted. We've let a snake replace our. Is there leader. a chest over there that's not stealing? <laughs> Master Halsin, perhaps Goblin Because there's Holt, only a plate. Perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Where are you? Hold her to task. Stop in the this room damn talking ritual. to a guy? More will die if the rite is finished. God. So many more sent into a world gone mad. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanas' blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. Come, Silver. Stay close. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits. And they were crossed long ago. Oh, we're supposed to talk to the lady in here. Okay, I'll be there shortly. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> okay. It is a number on. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. There is Medica. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now. What was it you needed? I do what I can. For most folks, that's enough. Come here. Let's have a look at you. Why did my head do that? Healthy enough. <laughs> a bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A tadpole. A mind flare tadpole. I. Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Ridiculous. We just let her run off. Ah. Uh. There's some. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us oh, in see. the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. I'll do the best I can. I'm no Master Halson, mind. He'd have your tadpole out like that. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. All right? Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily, hesitates. <laughs> Something's off. It might, but first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? That plant will, uh... I'm telling you everything you need to know. Believe me on that. I want to help you. But I can't unless you work with me. So, has anything unusual happened to you? Protected from on high. Sounds like the drow. 
Master Halson said he was tougher than he had any right to be. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But I don't like that the door just shut. Sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. I you am know, not drinking this. I've spent this. my life treating folk and never I, once It would be much worse if I did. Then For suddenly, everyone. There's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hell was going on. She does on. have a long neck, Ethan. <laughs> because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Hard to say, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? The way I see it, you have two options. Halson, or that wyvern poison. I don't envy your choice, truly. But this is the hand fates dealt you. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Take one step at a time, Nettie. Come on. Hmm. By the way, uh, I hate to bring it up, but what yep. time were you wanting to get off? Um, pretty soon. Want to call it there then? Uh, give me a second. Oh, you see. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Excuse me? What? Yeah, yeah, you should do that. I wanna try something. Waiting for it to save? Okay. Uh... The parasite is stubborn. It refuses both to leave or to allow itself to be used as you desire. What? 
I uh, tried to consume the Mind Flare Parasite specimen. I saw it was an option. I <laughs> see. Alright. Good game. Uh, and 